I'm trying to work things out and just extrapolate it out a year, two years, three, maybe five, so forgive me. But do you think we could face a Europe-style issue where we go through a full cycle, a full recovery, without ever putting rates up? Uh, I mean, I think it's possible. I mean, I, I you know, it, it depends on a recovery from what. I mean, one of the things that, you know, I think is easy to lose sight of is most forecasts, including our own, you know, had a recession in 2021. That's when we were expecting a recession. So we were preparing for a recession uh, in the later stages of 2019 because we saw one coming a year, year and a half out, not because of a virus, obviously, but you know, if you looked at margins, if you looked at uh, the way the labor market was behaving, it all suggested that something was going to begin to kind of fall apart uh, in, the, in the later half of 2020. And by 2021, we'd be staring a recession in the face. Um, you know, I, I don't think this is a cycle. This is, this is a shock. The cycle that we're in, um, you know, probably reset actually a little bit, right? We, we've, you know, um, had the recession. Uh, having the recession, seeing the labor market do what it's going to do. Um, I, I actually think the next economic cycle could be something like the 1990s. Um, you're seeing, you know, there, there's going to be improvements in productivity. You know, um, think of this as, think of all the technological advancements that happened during World War II, right? This is not obviously World War II, but this is a big shock to the global system that required uh, big movements in technology that yeah. required you know, big changes. We're experimenting with things. We're figuring out how things work, and we're doing it at a very rapid pace. Um, and when we come out of this, a lot of the changes that take place are going to be ones that are actually productivity boosting. Yeah. But and Drew, I think we need to really think about the positive sometime. 